My name's Kelly Moody. I'm a teacher at Gordon Vale State High School. Um, currently I teach Year 9 Maths and I also run an environmental program called Excelsior and I manage the e-learning centre in the school, so a few different hats. So the learning environment in my class, I, I'm quite friendly with the students. I like to greet them at the door um, and get that positive um, relationship going with them. When you come inside, I want you to get started on your maths mental straight away and you have four minutes to do it from when you sit down. Come inside and sit down quietly. I'd like to manage my classroom by giving the students um, lots of different activities to keep them interested and also giving them time frames to do everything in. So if I say you've got two minutes to do this, it means that they don't waste time um, getting started. They know they've only got a couple of minutes to do it. Time's up. Can I get you to, get, to write your name on the top of the page? Spot with the person next to you and can you mark your answers with the calculator? Thank you. I like to start the lesson with the lesson intention so that um, lets the students know where we're going in that lesson and what our goals are, what the focus is. Usually that can link to, to where they've been in previous lessons and also where we're going in the future so they know this is something that we need to learn because in our assignment we'll need to describe a graph so that's why it's our intention today. We're going to start off with a review activity today so it's going to be multiple choice questions. You can see on your desk that you have cards with A, B and C written on them so I'm going to get you to hold up the card with the correct answer on it when you see the questions up on the screen. So a lot of the quizzes um, we do in pairs so that um, they can work with their friends but also they have more confidence if they're talking to their friend about the answer rather than the whole class. So I find that I get a lot more audience involvement with that. So we do a review activity regularly which is just multiple choice questions, A, B or C, and they talk to the person next to them. And three, two, one, hold up your answer please, nice and high. Nice and high, so I can see it. B is the correct answer, and you're all right, hold up. Now look at the image from earlier. Can you tell me, is that data set symmetrical or asymmetrical? I use the paddle pop sticks to pick people to answer questions so that I'm not picking the same people all of the time and it's quite obvious if someone's put their hand up they probably know the answer but realistically I want to know does everyone in the class know the answer or just the person putting their hand up so if we pick a non-volunteer um, I think I can get a more accurate result. Next one, where do you think the median would be please Jake? When I initially started planning lessons like this on the PowerPoint and so structured, it took a lot of time to plan the lessons. Um, but now that I've got the structure and it's basically my template for every lesson, I can just go in and change the questions or change the graphic. And it's a lot less work now. And I'm actually finding that um, overall, because I'm not having to deal with behaviour in the class and I'm not having to reteach things because they haven't got it the first time that it's actually saving me time in the long run. The last thing we're going to finish up with today, five minutes before the bell, is we're going to do our closure activity. At the end of each lesson I get them to do the three, two, one, go so that I can see whether they enjoyed um, the different activities and also to see whether they have retained the information. I want you to write down in your books three things I have learnt today, two things I liked about the lesson and one question that I have. So write those down in your books. The way I structure my lessons it works for me and helps me stay organised when my planning but I think it helps um, some of my students um, that have lower abilities get engaged in the lesson because they know the routine. What orderly and workable routines do you use in your classroom to ensure student time is spent on learning tasks? What elements should be incorporated into an effective lesson planning template?